What's up everyone, my name is Dan Smith and I'm glad that you are here. I've been using minoxidil to grow a beard and on my minoxidil journey I've heard some stupid shit. So here's six things that every minoxidil beard user says. Let's get into it. <clears throat> oh no! My progress! It's broken! What do you mean? I woke up with at least 10 beard hairs on my pillow. I'm obviously shedding and losing my gains. Right, great. What do you mean great? I'm losing my progress. That means it's working. I don't... How... On their minoxidil journey, most people will experience some form of a shedding phase. This is when the vellus hairs, or the thinner, lighter hairs, start falling out and make place for newer, thicker, and fuller hairs. These are terminal hairs, and these are the hairs that you want, because these will stay on your face forever, even after you quit using minoxidil. Some people talk of transitional hairs. I guess these are hairs that are in between the vellus and the terminal stage. The point is, if you're shedding, that means that darker and fuller hairs are coming. And that means that you are getting one step closer to that full beard that you always wanted. What's up guys? I was just editing the video and I realized I forgot something. Can y'all please drop a like on the video? Helps out the channel a lot. Thank you very much. Back to the video. Hey man, what's up? Do so you know I've been using minoxidil for at least like 34 minutes now? Yeah, what about it? I still don't see any results. Clearly, it's not working for me. Bro, it's been 34 minutes, not 34 weeks. Relax. I'm not reacting to it, bro. I have to switch to 10%. No. No, you don't. When it comes to minoxidil and the minoxidil beard community, maybe you've heard this phrase before. Patience and consistency is key. You've got to be realistic. I mean, look up other minoxidil users. How many of them have you seen that have had real significant gains before the first month of using minoxidil? I'd say give it at least three months before deciding 5% minoxidil is not for you. Some people react to it quicker than others, but like I said, patience and consistency is key. Yo, bro. Yo, man, what's up? Everything all right? So I fucked up again. In a delusional state of panic, I shaved off my beard. Yeah, I see the problem, right? Yeah, you're one ugly son of a bitch, you know, with the beard and all, I'd quite forgotten about that, but now that you shaved it, damn, you're one ugly ass motherfucker, that's, that's not. Dude, stop, that's not even what I mean. I'm just saying, I shaved off all my minoxidil progress, now it's all been for nothing, the beard's gone forever now. Yeah, that's not how that works. So when you're using minoxidil for beard growth, you won't get a full beard out of nowhere, of course. You get fellas hair first. These are thinner, lighter hairs, and they don't grow as fast. So if you're shaving, you might be pulling out some of those fellas hairs, and you might have the impression that your gains are gone forever, but they're not. You just need to be patient, and you'll see them growing right back. What's your routine? Routine? Well, I just apply minoxidil every morning and every evening, and I derm roll like once a week. What about you? So I wake up around 8 and I wash my face. After that, I apply minoxidil. Now when the minoxidil is dry, I apply this concoction that I've come up with myself. Concoction? What do you mean? So the base is Nivea skin cream, and I add some jojoba oil and black castor oil. Also a little bit of biotin and LCLT. I also add a bit of lime juice and just a few hot drops of, of honey. I give it a good stir and then I add some water mixed with a little bit of peanut butter. Wait, did you say peanut butter? To top it all off, I add some kerosene, kerosene? some sulfuric acid, and the tears of a newborn. Check out my gains, bruh. Applying minoxidil, perhaps in combination with derma rolling, is gonna make up for at least 95% of your gains. And I feel like some people really worry too much about pills and oils and routines and everything there's out there to maximize their beard potential, while in reality, I'm not an expert and I'm only speaking from personal experience, but I don't think you're gonna see any real significant gains with these special routines. Sure, apply an oil if you wanna make your beard smell good or if you wanna moisturize your skin or whatever, but if you're using minoxidil and perhaps derma rolling every now and again, I think your progress is gonna be just fine and you don't need to worry worry about anything else. I'm gonna have to sell a kidney. Why on earth would you have to do that? Finally grew a beard using minoxidil and now I don't want to go without a beard anymore so now I'm gonna have to keep it for the rest of my life. Do you know how much minoxidil costs for an entire lifetime? It's roughly the price of a kidney so I'm gonna have to sell my kidney, right? Minoxidil is primarily used to regrow hair on the scalp in men who experience male pattern baldness. If they stop using minoxidil, they're not going to be magically cured from male pattern baldness, and so the hair they regrew probably will fall out again. Some people think it's the same way for a beard, but that's not true. There's only male pattern baldness on the scalp, but there's no such thing for beards. So if you're using minoxidil for long enough and your hair becomes terminal, then you're sure to keep the beard forever, even after you quit using minoxidil. Is, uh, is something wrong? It's all over, bro. What's all over? Bro? What are you talking about? So you know how I'm using a moisturizer to make sure my skin doesn't dry out? Yeah, what about it? I made such a horrible mistake. I couldn't be so fucking stupid. It's just a moisturizer. What are you? Moisturizer. It contained THT blockers. So 
DHT or dihydrotestosterone is a hormone that plays a role in beard growth for men. If you're using minoxidil and you're derma rolling though, the amount of DHT blockers in your creams or moisturizers really aren't gonna matter as much. I've been using moisturizers with DHT blockers in them myself and my minoxidil progress has been just fine. Again, I'm only speaking from personal experience, but I wouldn't worry about it. That's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know by liking the video or leaving a comment. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.